You know, if these, uh, stairs were here, I doubt I would have found the coin that was in this corner. That seems like some place I just wouldn't have gone to look. Actually, thinking about it, maybe because we collected all those coins, the, uh, coin guy in the first bit of the island might give us the last coin we need for the shop. So that was a waste of time. Uh, I did look up the shortcut here, though, because I figured, like, why not? We found the other two, and turns out it's behind this crane. So I guess it would let us get out of the uh, junkyard jive, which is beneficial. Uh, all right, so let's go to the theater. Sally stage play in dramatic fanatic. I'm sure this will go great. I hope I have a good gun layout. Oh, the last thing I did with like real combat was a run and gun. So I probably have shotgun, don't I? This match will get red hot. It's, on. it's a wedding. Uh, you're a fan at me. Okay, working out so well. Actually. Shotgun's not too bad at the moment. I feel like, ooh, so you just kind of come at me. Ugh. I feel like shotgun actually is pretty good here. Good fan. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I just have to actually react then. <laughs> and then walk right into the... Break a leg. Nah, break two. She has a couple of phases. Shotgun seems fine. Um, I wonder if Lopper would be better. Since Lopper bounces instead of... Just, I needed to dash more to avoid some damage there. Fan got a little scary. Mm, I can't believe I parried that hard. Ah! Damn it. Bad fan. Find it a little hard to react to that attack when she dives. Alright, well, we're on the second phase. They left. Honeymoon? Obsessos. Uh, ah! Babies! Rat cars, I think those were parryable. They look parryable. Stay away from center stage or succumb to the power of the Starlet's Rage. A Starlet's Rage. Um, okay. I do like that it's... I didn't see the full thing, but asbestos is funny. Ooh. A little awkward there. I'm glad I can get some good parries off. That was a little awkward too. Yeah. The, um... These attacks aren't too bad. Like I said, that one is... What gives me the most problems. Because I can't react to her falling. And then she becomes a mother. Ah! Alright, you just dive. Seems like you kind of have the same attacks. I don't... I don't know if they are parryable. I could have been missing them, but I was confident they would be. It's not going too bad. I'm gonna stick with the loadout I have right now. Homing is always nice as a secondary, just for, like scared moments, because I don't know what else she might do. <sighs> Gonna at least try that. But, like, it doesn't seem like it's too bad getting close to her with the uh, shotgun at the moment. Charge shot might also be fine here. I've mentioned it before that they nerfed the charge shot. I don't know how much they nerfed it, if it's still viable. I would assume it's still viable. I 
I panicked because I was not a fan of the corner I was stuck in. It would have been better to try to parry the heart at least. I also didn't realize that you can spawn in on the right side here. Alright, this just becomes a problem of many projectiles. Looks like they drop in on top of where you last were. She's dead! I've killed her! Oh, the husband was sad! Oh, okay, I see. I like the, uh, the stage, uh, names, or, like, of telling me what's happening. Oh, she lightnings also with the meteor. Thought I was safe there. Oh, God, one more phase. It looks like a uh, short phase, though. Better Reddance, go away. It is time for my soliloquy. Admittedly, the second phase seems a bit more troublesome with its uh, projectiles. I guess, is it even still projectiles when they just fall from the sky? That's the problem, is like got the bait and I got scared because the fan was there. The baby's throwing the bottles and the toys coming back down is a little bit much. Just standing close to is enough to avoid the uh, drill slam attack. That's what I'm going to call it, drill slam, that one. Where she spins. Uh, when the little angel cherubs go away is when we are moving on to the next phase. Uh, I panicked because of the... Nah, too many toys. Too many babies. I can't believe she got so busy after the wedding. I mean, it doesn't really seem like the groom is doing anything wholly unique. I... She doesn't just, like go where you were, I don't think. Maybe. Maybe it's because I try to turn around sometimes that I still get got. Ah! Only got hit once there. Like, if I can just figure out an easier way to deal with that one move, then I would have a much better time. Oh, I saw the, uh, husband is still actually here, even before I kill her. He just was, like, standing in the back, nervously. Eh. Uh, I assume the fan still hurts me. I don't think I've stepped on it yet. But I'm trying to avoid the fans. Because I hate the fans. I could just try to dash better, too. I think she basically times that attack 
the same, like, like I can feel the timing on it, I mean. Um, so I think I can just kind of do that pretty easily. That, uh, honestly, was not too bad. Um, I'm going for it just because no telling if I'll be able to actually, do I have to break this before the tidal wave comes? Oh, I mistimed it. I think dashing would be much better for me. Okay, well... I have one health. Encore. Ew. Watch out for roses and the umbrella, and I think I hit, got hit by a rose. Please exit Sage left during my standing ovation. Uh, so... Th might be a better time for me to just use homing there. If only so I can focus more on dodging. If I got hit by a rose, I didn't see it. So that was a bit of a problem. Mm. Surprised I didn't get hit there. I panicked. I thought anything but that was going to happen. That was like a really dumb hit. It's not like she has a lot of moves to go through, so I'm kind of just under the impression like, yeah, most of them I just have to dash under. It's nice when she doesn't get the toy cars in. Because they are a bit annoying. Oh, baby bottle. I've killed her. This phase doesn't seem too bad. I'm probably not going to make it. Lightning is dangerous. Uh, I probably just got hit by the lightning. I don't think it would be the string, right? That would kind of suck if the string was a hitbox. The way it bounced, too, like, obviously could have just been the lightning hitting me. Yeah, she doesn't aim for where you're standing, so I just have to kind of time a dodge to avoid that. Oh yeah, that fan still hurts. It's what I get for standing there. Like, yeah, 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 brute force it. Yeah. Yeah, I got this. Cool. I mean, yeah, I could just stand there. Most of her moves aren't too bad. I just take dumb hits. And then, like, this is just kind of a move where sometimes the projectiles can be positioned funkily. Didn't really see the bottle until I was in the air. The biggest problem with that phase is I get too focused on, like, looking at everything else. Miss my chance for the parry, but I think it's for the best that I avoided taking a hit. That was me panicking because I wasn't sure what attack she was going to do. But I avoided a hit, and that's, again, all that matters. Because, like, at least by the time I get to one of the last phases, I should... I let that happen. I should probably be able to still just get a super naturally. Mm okay. 
I just have to focus way more on avoiding those. See, I can hurt myself here because I did that at the worst possible time. Maybe it's because I jumped into her, which uh, is obvious. It's just she kind of has like, I guess that weird texture to her that makes her not look like a physical object. She has like that background texture, right? Like, do you know, you know when you're watching like Scooby-Doo and everything kind of has that like detail to it and then the door is very clearly something that's going to move. She didn't look like something that would clearly move. So that kind of maybe threw me off. It could still be the string. I'm just going to have to be careful with the lightning. I just actually don't know. But it didn't... To me, it did not feel like I hit the lightning itself. Which makes me think that... That it's something else. But I could just not visually be seeing myself take that hit. Damn it, jumped way too soon. The longer I can go without the cars, the easier time I would have. Yeah, it's because I jumped into her. But I was able to brute force that last bit of pretty easily. Can I please do damage to her? Rose is kind of difficult for me to look at. Home. I don't know how much damage I was doing with the shotgun. Look at the kids. They're so upset. I kind of, that was like kind of a panic thing at the end there, is like, I wasn't trying too hard to aim at her, but assumed that the shotgun blasts were hitting from like uh, the top, since you know it's kind of a more of a radius range. But then I'm like, oh, I could just be sitting here forever and not be doing anything. Uh, judging by how quick that was with homing, though, I assume I was actually doing something. Not too bad. Could have been better. I struggled with the fight a little bit, but like I, I saw where it was my fault and where I could have improved myself. Uh, so now we have the house, and I think that's everything. Warner Warman in Marine Marine Court. Uh, is Marine a pun on something? Since it's spelt like that. Maybe a pun on rat or can? What did I... Get? Oh, little fireballs come out of... This does not seem like a good time for shotgun. He moves around a little too much. I am hitting him. Oh, I see. I was just trying to get parries and then... Oh! Look at that eyeball. Okay. Um. That was easy as I'm zwei drei. Uh, do I want to switch out? Yeah, I think I will. He, um. I kind of thought, because I've seen this, I've seen most of the bosses in this game do, like, I don't know, I, it's just like a lot of images are usually thrown around. Let's try lob, because I think that would still be able to hit pretty well. I and I, uh... So like, you know, I think everyone kind of sees... Calamaria, the flower... The, uh... 
a lot a lot of bosses just kind of show up whether they were in like trailers or something i feel like i've seen most of them this guy i think i've seen like once oh that still does have a low range but i think it works out well enough it's still a bit more free as far as i did that way too early i see Ah, I kind of thought I was safe when I was close by. Got to the second phase, though. This tank is the ultimate weapon. You will not win. I like the uh, cat eye that's been going on in the background. I mean, it's definitely worked better than the shotgun just because of clearly making it to the second phase, technically. A little hard to deal with both things of uh, the fireballs and the actual. Pro oh, this was the second phase. The actual projectiles of the. Uh okay. I need to kind of assess what was happening there because that was a lot of things to look at. Uh, so, wherever he's is because it looks like he's on like an elevator thing he will do fire uh the bottle caps look like they were doing something which is what i was more focused on so uh i guess we'll hopefully be able to get there with more health so we can kind of assess the situation a bit better okay that's not too bad to time, actually. Alright, so now we are on this phase. So... Damn it, I'm... Panicked because of bottle caps. Yeah. Also, this seems like I really should be homing at times what do I do oh I need to be on the other side I didn't realize that only one side started revving up there I was close to the next phase as well I could totally avoid the bomb placement but I just go about it in a poor ah I was safe down there because it wasn't even the bottle caps that were on the ground floor. Look how quick that is. I must be doing a lot of damage when he's transitioning into the next phase. I think that's what was happening with the Queen Bee. So I definitely don't want to waste a super on that phase. How do the bombs actually move themselves? Do they... Oh god, okay. Well, thank god for the dash. I mistimed those parries. Didn't think you would do three at a time, my man. Alright, get those big hits in. Ah! Dumb. I was gonna say, please tell me I'm safe there. Because the, uh... The way that bottle cap was moving wasn't great for me. Oh, the cat! What are you doing? I only have one health. Please tell me the little hit. I don't even think I hit him. I know those... Okay. They uh, shoot out little projectiles. Um, okay. That phase looks like that's going to be the one that lasts the longest. I almost wonder, actually. Maybe I'll try after this one. If shotgun would be better than homing, because it'll do more damage. And would have enough lift to most likely hit the... Uh, target that I want. Lob, I think, 
I might be able to hit Cat with Lob, but if I can't, then Shotgun would seem a lot better. In my opinion. I also like the rat ghosts that showed up at the end there. Missed it, but whatever. Didn't take a hit, so it was fine. They just don't look as glowy as the objects that you can parry. Mm, wasn't expecting the defer. Would have also helped if I actually hit my super as well, but what are you going to do? Yeah. That was a little bit of a panic there. I think I really need homing to make this easier. Damn it, I was trying to... I was trying to do a good job, it didn't go so well. Alright, at least now I can hit you. Okay, yeah, those just come out with a bonus, and then there's that. Super did a lot, though. Um, I. In a bit of a pickle here now. You, you know, yeah, I guess I'll actually stick with it. I'll stick with the my loadout. So I was thinking that it probably moved a little bit slower in the second phase because I couldn't really hit him when he was up high. Like, I could technically aim when he's up high, but I can't duck aim, which was a little scary. But I think uh, having the second phase move slower is probably better. It's not the worst phase. Uh, you know, the arena is also a bit bigger than I would have expected. The like bits where the name tags and medals are made me think that they were... Um, that's troublesome though. That also is troublesome. I panicked. Oh, I can walk on that. I mean, I killed myself because of it, but I can. And then I panicked because I saw the bottle cap. But like, the second phase is not bad, it's just... I start panicking. He only has the two different attacks. I need to stop focusing so much on where he is and just focus on what the bottle caps are doing. Like, obviously, I need to avoid where he is, but it's not like it takes that much effort. You get sucked. I thought I was safe where I was. You only have to, like, see once. And it's, like, immediately after he's done with his fire. What would be helpful, too, with the lob is to, um... Maybe try to... Uh, I thought I could... Jump through... Oh! I didn't think that one was moving, because that, like, was just done moving before. Uh, I really forgot what I was going to say about the lob. That was kind of just a weird spot. Um, what was I going to say about the lob? Also, his little, like, mouse hole seems very small. Ah, that bomb. I really thought I was safe there. Alright, let's we try that. Here's a real high class belt. 
Real high class. Also, I don't think I ever finished my thought about how I've like only seen this guy once. I honestly thought he was an unused boss design because I've only seen him once. Like I've, I haven't seen like as much buzz about the German rat. So I kind of thought that maybe he was like in a like old trailer for the game. Yeah, that doesn't really work. Well, that's what I wanted to say about the law. I honestly... Hmm. Yeah, let me just take those hits. Thought maybe he was from an old trailer and was like scrapped. Because I only saw art of him the one time. That was great. I don't think I have to jump to go over his bottom platform. Uh, but what I was going to say with the lob is I need to maybe figure out the timing on his flamethrower. Because I might be able to get a few extra hits before I try to get uh, away from his positioning. But from how it looked in that round, it might have been easier to just try to avoid it altogether. Not try to be a hero. Mmm. Mistime that. Oh, that bomb arc was way more than I anticipated. Take a lot of dumb hits, and that's the worst part. Good thing is I can shoot through the bottle caps. Bad thing is it's... I was scared. I was kind of hoping I could just stay up top for a little bit, but I was sure his fire was coming. I very much want to save my super. And thank god for that dash, or else I would have to have actually timed that parry jump. And if sometimes those bombs are just in bad spots. Alright, that was a good run there. Mmm. I knew what I wanted to do there, but I didn't do it at a good time. Oh, god damn, it's... It's because I keep wanting to jump on the platform. That was awkward because I wanted to not jump up high, I wanted to be able to avoid the bottle cap and... Then just kind of ruin my timing on everything else. The reason I keep getting hit when he's doing the bottle caps, like, all on one side, is that I really do not need to jump, I think. And, again, it's, it's a problem of any of my jumps seem to get me onto the second platform when sometimes I do not want it to be there. I don't think I can really do a short hop, which is kind of what I'm trying to do. And it's not obviously working out for me. So I need to kind of assess that that's not something that's available as an option. Seems like just keeping your distance on the bombs give you a bit more uh, free time there. Lob just isn't great for when I'm trying to do that either. Uh, you can short hop, it's just awkward to try to do. Ugh, the flamethrower was too fast. No, you do have to jump that. Problem is, mmm, short hop sucks. I need to try to just dash through the bottom ones. Because it's just really hard for me to time a short hop. I can probably just dash through the bottle caps and that would be so much easier. I don't know why I 
don't consider it. Ah, I thought I was safe. That I actually did not think I was safe at all. Ah, damn it. I didn't think I would land on the platform, so I was trying to jump back onto the platform. Don't know what I was thinking right there. I try to jump it because I... I don't know. They look like they're manageable without the dash, so my, like, initial thought is don't dash. Obviously, like... I don't know. Obviously, I don't need to dash that, for instance, and I guess, obviously, the dash is a uh, bonus more so than expected of the game or expected of the player because you don't always have the invincible dash. But it still just feels like something that I need to maybe take better advantage of. That was lucky. Good. Not good. Oh, you can... You can duck the fire? Only on the bottom. But that's super amazing to know. And I botched that because I accidentally fell down when I shouldn't have. You guys just seem hard to parry. The projectiles move a little too fast for me, and also it's- I've only, like, seen that phase three times. Good, uh, damage, though, knowing that I can duck the fire from the bottom floor. Wish the cat would eat him quicker. Okay, just need to make sure I avoid dumb damage. Also, like I said, the arena looks a lot smaller to me. Just because the like, I guess the rest of the area, I mean I guess it is a lot smaller because the bottle caps get in the way. But the area where the bottle caps get in the way looks like it's already not real to me. I think at a certain point in the fight, the bottle caps last longer. It's not bad, not bad. Come on, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Yeah, fuck you. I feel like the planks falling are... Okay, I'm not gonna try to parry. Too scary. Ugh! Planks falling seems to be like a half phase kind of thing. Alright, not too bad when you have lots of health. Oh, he wasn't dead! It was him all along! Robot cat! 